This is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed artist, the one and only Tuan. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at Tuan's incredible video for his incredible song, Piano. Pretty good. I'm wonderful. How about you? Tuan, doing so much better now that we're finally connected. And Tuan, I want to know first and foremost about that song, Piano. Absolutely beautiful. Talk to me a little bit about the idea behind both the song and the music video. Um, so I wrote the song Piano just based on, um, it's, so the song Piano is essentially about how you can make other people feel a certain type of way. You can make them happy, you can make them sad, but at the end of the day, you want to ha like have good vibes and everything. So like, just know that you have the power to make other people feel a certain way. So always choose to give them a good time, give them happy time, give them a lovely version of yourself rather than like angry all the time, <laughs> you know? That's amazing, Tuan. I mean, especially in times like this when it's maybe a tough time for people, but to choose kindness, choose light, choose positivity. You do it not only in your music, but all over your socials, whether it's your Instagram, your TikTok. Talk to me about your TikTok and how you decided and when you decided to kind of go full throttle with that. I kind of started TikTok um, when the pandemic hit because, you know, like there's nothing to do. Um, so like I just want to create like a niche a niche when people go to my TikTok, like what would they find like they would find me writing songs about my like whatever i'm getting inspired of and like sometimes like a little silly videos that i like just want to have fun on TikTok because it's not all about work and like music you know like i mean it's all about music but i like to have fun in, along the way also I love that almost you use your TikTok as if we're like taking a little like backstage tour of what it is to get in on the process and the everyday life of you. You know, you've, you obviously get into some shenanigans or you're, you're, you're out and about, but I, I love the idea though that it's still all about the music, but maybe not so much like the filtered version. It's just very real. Yes, um, I'm starting to get into candid social media like at the moment like I'm like it's all about what I whatever whatever I took on my phone goes on social media maybe just a little touch of like filter 
to make I look like a little fake a little bit. I mean, like just like a little bum up. Well, yeah, but it's all candid and whatever you see on social media, that's me. That's, that's my amazing. personality. That's what makes you relatable, Tuan. And also I'm curious to know a little bit more about Summertime as well, a great tune. So, um, um, summer of 2020? No, last year, last year. So I, I went, know, what um, is time anymore? I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, it's literally like 2020 right now. And like, it's almost like at the middle of January. I'm I like, know. Oh. But anyways, um, that song is about, so like me, I went um, to Palm Spring with, uh, for my friend's 21st birthday. So she rented out um, like a, I would, I would say a mansion with a pool and we had fun. And that's, um, that song is just a recap for that summer. It, it was a great summer and I wish that I could come back and I, you know, like I, I'm young and like wild and I just want to like experience everything that I, that life has to offer. And um, having this, young and beautiful phase like no need to have Botox and like having somebody to love having somebody to care about me and I care about people that song is all about like it's always been you guys you guys have always been around me and you guys always support me and I support you guys and yeah that song is just a celebration of youth oh I love that oh youth how I remember youth long ago for me but, You're so um, beautiful, come on. <laughs> sweet, it's good lighting. Um, Tuan, before I ask my final question, I wanna let the audience know for more on the amazing Tuan, you could read more about him right below this video. Tuan, in terms of, you know, in terms of looking ahead into 2022, what projects do you have coming up or any songs that you're gonna be releasing soon? Yes, um, I am making, in the process of making new music. Um, so if you go on my like Spotify or like socials, like I already have like an album came out during the pandemic and like four more songs. But right now, like I'm actually working on new albums and you know, like I'm, I'm not signed yet. So like, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to like make more songs and like submit to labels and all that before. Um, and if there's no luck, I'm just gonna, re I'm just gonna, publish it by myself and that's a great way to like get my music out there too so yes I I am making well, new listen, music. Juan, I am so excited you're coming on board this amazing new social media platform where you're going to be connecting with fans and artists all over the world and I'm also so excited that we're connected now thank you so much thank you so much thank you for so much for doing this it's my honor